Okay, welcome back to our tutorial series. Today we are going to be talking a little bit about weather. It's going to be a quick video because it's not complicated, but we're going to be talking about triggering weather from our scripts. Uh, um, so we are going to be working on this scene with Kyogre that we created here. We're just going to make uh, the animation and everything a little bit more advanced. We're going to add weather, we're going to shake the screen, and we're going to trigger a real legendary battle over the next couple of videos. Um, in this one, obviously, we're working on weather, so I have three trigger scripts here. The left and the right one just move you this way, and then the main one just moves you forward and triggers the weather um, while it does it. Um, so we're going to take a look at the code that we have set up. So here is the left trigger, here's the right trigger. They just apply a movement that just moves you, waits for the movement, and then goes to the main trigger event here, which is where we are actually triggering the weather stuff. And the movements are, you know, just move. Nothing complicated at all. So this weather trigger, this main trigger, it starts off with the macro set weather and then the constant that is defined that holds the weather type. Um, now these constants are defined in weather.h. Here they are, not all of these are going to work, but you can try some of these to see which ones you like, which ones you want to add into your game. You'll obviously recognize some of them and some of them you won't. Um, but you can use those weather constants and trigger the weather using set weather and then do weather is the macro that actually starts the weather. So first we just, you know, save the weather type into a variable in the code and then this do weather command, it runs it from that variable. And we use set weather also, or we use do weather also with um, with reset weather when we're done with our script and we want to go back to the normal weather of a map, we use reset weather and then do weather again will trigger whatever we set with reset weather. Now reset weather again is the weather that's already on the map that we define in Pori map in the header in this weather section. We can define the weather here and uh, that is the default weather of the map. Now if you want to keep a new weather in a map going forward, if you want to permanently set the weather in the map, you'll need to use a map script and set the weather before it loads in uh, into the game. And you know that's obviously possible, it's easily doable. Um, but for now we're just going to be setting the weather to downpour because it's a Kyogre battle, so obviously we want to set it to downpour. We do the weather, we apply this movement that just makes you walk forward, we wait for the movement, and then we go to our main Kyogre script that we wrote in our Wild Encounters video. That's this script here, and this is just a simple battle script uh, for a wild encounter Pokemon. So that is all that there is to it, the setting weather for the most part. So we, you know, set our trigger and then uh, from there all we do is we just set the weather and we do the weather and we make sure to clear to we the weather when we're done because otherwise um, when we come, when we leave the map it'll change and come back in, it won't be the weather anymore. Um, which you might want, that might be how you want it to work and that's fine. Um, but we want to make sure to reset the weather. So we're going to actually look to see what this looks like. I've already compiled. Um, so here we are going to step forward and it's just going to start the weather. It's trigger, there's going to be a lightning bolt, and then the weather is going to start, the battle's going to start. Um, so here is our Kyogre and we our shiny rate is really high so it's a shiny Kyogre. Um, and it doesn't have the primal reversion, that's sad. But either way, the weather stops once it is over, and now we are back, well, uh, I have the script, the trigger set to keep going, technically. Because um, if you remember how our trigger variables work, uh, they are given a variable and a value, and uh, I forgot to change the value when we were done to be a different one, so it'll keep triggering and making me move back. I actually just soft lock myself, but it's not important. Either way, that's how weather works, triggering weather from scripts. Um, if you have any questions, uh, make sure to leave a comment here in the Discord. Otherwise, we will see you on the next one.